questions this morning about free speech and whether this event went too far. Dr. Zudi Jasser is the president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, and he joins us now from Phoenix. Dr. Jasser, thanks for being with us. All right, so this was a free speech event. So where is the tolerance? Does this so-called blasphemy need to be defended? Well, there is no doubt that the measure of the freedom that we have is the ability for us to withstand the veto power that those who are violent want to exert. So we can't let them have veto power. And the measure of our freedom is not by those who are able to be kind and compassionate. You know, the New York Times had an op-ed after the Charlie Hebdo assassinations in which Russ Duhat said, you know, the blasphemy we need and that liberal societies are measured by the ability for those of us to withstand offense. So. Uh, why should Muslims be given a pass? And as a Muslim, I'm horrified. As an American Muslim, I'm, I'm just unbelievably horrified by what this is. Now, we don't know the identity of who did this, but it seems to be looking at the tweets of some of the ISIS supporters that uh, uh, were supporting, you know, horrifically this event that they declared allegiance to ISIS. So this was done as part of an Islamo-patriotic movement against American patriotism mm -hmm. and freedom. I read that article in the New York Times. He says liberty requires freedom, freedom to offend and also to call for an exercise restraint. I do want to talk about the keynote speaker there, a Dutch politician by the name of Gert Wilders. He has been or he is now on al-Qaeda's hit list, wanted dead or alive. Why do extremists consider him so offensive? Well, you know, I served in the U.S. Navy to protect the ability of people like Geert to, to express themselves and stand for what they wish. And, uh, you know, he, have, he and I have had a number of differences about Islam. I mean, that's the debate about what is Islam and what is political Islam. But, you know, he pushes the envelope, and that's really what allows us Muslims to need to look within and say, you know, it's not just these terrorists, but Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, uh, Iran have laws that basically enforce and endorse the same thing these radicals would do by putting people like your, you know, Geert may be on a hit list for al-Qaeda, but there are Muslims in prisons in Saudi Arabia and Iran that may say the same things that are similar, not as offensive towards Islam, but offensive towards the governments of Saudi and Iran, and they get labeled similarly as being anti-Islam and anti-regime. This is the beginning, and, and Geert, I think, pushes the envelope in order to protect the freedoms because when he speaks out, also, so many other Muslims around the world are speaking out against regimes and for reform within our faith, and that has to be tested. Okay, Dr. Zudi Jasser, thanks for being with us this morning. Always interesting. Thank you. Appreciate it.